Hello, I'm Dr. Rick Spinrad, Undersecretary of Commerce for Oceans and Atmosphere and the Administrator of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties, COP26, marks another significant step since the historic Paris Agreement, which committed countries to strengthening actions to combat climate change and limit the global temperature rise to well below 2 degrees centigrade by the end of this century. More than ever, the spotlight is on how to mobilize the trillions of dollars needed to tackle the urgent climate crisis and enable transformative climate action towards a resilient net zero carbon world by 2050. Both the public and private sectors have a role to play in accelerating the ecological and economic transition. Here at NOAA, our mission is science, service, and stewardship to understand and predict changes in climate, weather, oceans, and coasts, to share that knowledge and information with others, both within the United States and with our global partners. Our science is at the core of our agency and serves as the foundation for smart policy and decision making. Essential to fully realizing NOAA's mission is integrating equity into everything we do at NOAA, from development of new products to delivery to all, including our most vulnerable communities. I've made equity a central focus to ensure equity is not something we do, but rather embedded in everything we do. I'm looking forward to the conversation with leaders from the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the World Meteorological Organization, and Bloomberg LP on November 23rd on how the GEO community intends to accelerate the delivery of Earth observation-based climate information through advanced open sharing of observations, science, and knowledge, increased partnering with the private sector to accelerate delivery of policy-relevant scientific data, scale up public and private financing of ocean-based economic activities to accelerate our advance to a resilient net zero carbon world by 2050, and increase efforts to build up diversity and inclusion in our community. Please join us.